Dear Lynn, thank you for showing interest in the role of ITHR recruiter. Although after five rounds of interviews, we have decided to go with another better suited candidate. Please click on the link below to leave a survey. Oh, what, what, hold up, player. <laughs> What do you mean? I already called my mom and told her to quit her job because, baby, I'll be paying a bill from now on. <laughs> what do you mean you're rejecting me? Guys, I remember I went for an interview and it was great with the recruiter. I met team members. I met the hiring manager. I did crazy assessments too. Did a presentation. Got rejected. You're telling me you couldn't even place me for the junior role I saw also on your website in the same department. I'm not even good, even if I went through all those hoops and I was getting feedback, great feedback on every part. Where did I go wrong? And where did this mysterious candidate come from? And why is the job still being advertised a month after you guys have said you found someone? Were you just mining me for industry secrets? Lena's questions. Hi guys, my name is Lynn and welcome to my channel. If you're visiting or passing by, do not forget to subscribe here regular. Welcome back. We talk about job searching, looking for money, looking for money, surviving adulthood. Today we're talking about I wrote notes here, guys, so that <clears throat> I wrote notes so that I don't go off tangent. The topic is dealing with job search rejections because I've been getting so many emails from you guys. My message on TikTok, people talking about how they are said. Some of you guys even send me messages that I think, you know what? Maybe I should be reporting all of this to somebody. Um, unless I'm mistaken, at the uh, police station, they do have a victim hotline that I need to put out as a disclaimer on all my emails or something. Or I should be making calls because some of you guys talk about how you want to analyze yourselves in my DMs, emails, TikTok. I'm even afraid of opening my TikTok now these days. And I'm thinking, what? Okay. Let's get back to this. Dealing with job search rejections. I wrote five points that I think can help you reframe job search as you're going into it. I think right from the start. But, 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 disclaimer. It is okay to cry. Close yourself in your room. Go in the bathroom. Take a long walk. Bowl your eyes out. Cry. Get your eyes puffy. It's okay. You've put in the time, effort, your hopes on this thing. It didn't work out. It's okay to... I've cried a thousand more time. <laughs> One day I was crying. My husband came in. He's like, who died? I'm like, my dreams. <laughs> So guys, you are not the only one. I cry. It's it's like your soul is being washed. It's okay to call your sisters, siblings, a brother, parents. Tell them, guys, I've been rejected. They'll give you all. It's it's okay. Just you know. But what we will not do is give up. Okay. So that's what not what we will do. So guys, the five points. Let's get back to the five points. Number one. Something meant for you is coming its way. I know what you're thinking. Learn. <laughs> this was the thing. No. A better fit is coming. Believe me. Remember, I've got a video. I did some a few videos back, weeks back. I'll try and pin it somewhere here where I said how toxic companies. A lot of people are not watching that video. I don't know why. Please go watch it. But basically, I do say sometimes the company is not toxic. It's you that is not the right fit. So remember, they called you for an interview. They like what they see on paper. But maybe your energy is not what they are looking for. Your vibe. Now, I'm not saying change your vibe. You could, but then a month, two months in, you're like, oh, this company is not for me. Because remember, when they place you in teams, sometimes most companies, so let's say they are looking for another recruiter, and that team is just full of people that like to work crazy hours. They're like over talkative. They are, you know, I've, I've seen those teams. I could never, I'm an introvert. I could never thrive in that environment, right? And if they place me, best believe I won't be happy. So maybe they already saw that. That is not good fit for you. So keep that in mind. Your right fit will come. So it is true, guys. Something better that is meant for you is right around the corner. Number two, it was a free session. It's really if it's online, right? It was a free session for you to do a lot of things, right? 
market research question time is important i've got something a write up you guys i'll put the link in um in the description box you guys can purchase that for 35 francs purchase it for 35 francs questions that you need to ask during interviews that can make or break your session for you to get the offer i stand by that list that's why i'm pay I, I, i'm i'm selling it question time we will also address question one for you to know if the company is the right fit for you plus also you keep in line in the industry standards that are going on let's say you haven't been in the job market for a while you'll be able to know for free what managers are looking for what's hot they'll tell you um you can also stay abreast you can even get some things to lie about in the next session for example you get three interviews where they're all asking you like hey what's your core rate hey what's your this score hey how much money are you saving then you now know in the industry right now that's what they are looking for so on the fourth interview you can even tell them that before they ask you see what i'm doing here so it's a free session so I believe it's online number three a chance for you to practice public speaking guys most interviews are held or done conducted by senior people in the business so for free you are getting to practice your english speaking skills your um, vibe how you conduct yourself to senior members of our society whom without this interview you wouldn't have access to so i think think of it as that way it's you practicing because it is an invaluable soft skill being able to speak to decision makers right you can even use that now in your next interview that i'm confident to speak to decision makers i can give points they ask you a question really if you go to those panel like interviews baby they be greening you i sometimes be feeling like i'm on ted talk i've, I've done a ted talk i've told them about myself and now they're asking like you know the panels not asking you questions so think of it as that it's a time for you to for free get feedback some of them then tell you feedback like oh then i would have selected you one two three things or whatever number four fighting against giving up because remember job searching is not the only trial and tribulation you face in your life one day you might think oh i need to do a side hustle oh this thing is going on in my life i want to build a family for myself you know the nice things don't are not easy to come by so i think rejections in interviews can also help you build that backbone of i need to persevere i don't need to give up because i think i've often told you guys i saw these stats on my linkedin and i saw that i had applied just on linkedin alone on the last job my current job on my last job that i was interviewing for before that offer i had sent over 1500 cvs and you can imagine how many interviews i got from that only for me to get one and this was through like a, a space of like six months that was the range six months and let's not forget i also sent in cvs not only on linkedin i sent on indeed i sent on Glassdoor. i sent on uh, i even had a uh, I even paid uh flex jobs you know sending everywhere so i'm just like <laughs> maybe in six months i sent close to like five thousand cvs how many rejections how many interviews how many oh, oh. number five all successful people go through bad vibes what did i write here but you get the gist guys all successful people go through many no's the worst per thing someone can tell you where they've got a new idea you're asking for permission you're breaking into a new space the worst thing you can get is a no no learn no and then you won't break you'll be sad for sure disappointed yes might feel like getting ice cream possibly but it won't break you it won't kill you right so everyone that is successful always has a like a in quotes i'll call it a regs to riches story how uber was trying to get funding how airbnb started how you know everyone hears those and then look at them now you, you yourself can even think about yeah just not this job searching part you can think about when you're applying for college which other varsities did you apply for how many no's did you get and then look you did end up getting a college or admitted into varsity or whatever cost you to do someone did accept you eventually so as long as you don't give up guys you take your nose as lessons you'll be fine but this is the positives that i think you can also look at when job searching i wrote points guys <laughs> one 
at least you're getting interviews, right? Some people out there have been sending CVs and crickets. Crickets. So at least for you, you know one thing is right in this journey. At least your CV is getting you something. Keep on applying. Somebody will be like, yeah, Lynn, I like your vibe. I like you. Let me give you a chance. That's all you need, right? You just need one yes. Lastly, I want to talk about gaps in skill sets. Sometimes during the interview, you will quickly realize that, oh, okay, I'm looking for digital marketing jobs, but everyone seems to have a HTML certificate. Everyone seems to have done this boot camp. Everyone seems to have done this. That can be an opportunity for you to like, okay, I'm getting a lot of no's. Let me step back and see what can I do better? Where are the gaps? What can I do? A lot of these courses are actually for free. Sometimes you might have to go back to school and upgrade. For example, I've got a bachelor in psychology. You will never get a, maybe you could get a counseling job, I think. But without a master's, you will never get a pure counseling job because they want people with either you've got your honors, you've done your community hours, or you've got your ma your master's. Like there's no two ways. So if you've done three years of psych, you're like, hey, I I'm already want to jump in the field to help people. Nah, you ain't getting no nowhere with that. So sometimes you can see that through the nose and through you discovering you might even figure out hey i don't want to do counseling anymore maybe i want to move into psychometry maybe i want to do this you know you can only learn that through the process of job searching conclusion yes this was a pep talk i hope i've uplifted you the whole point is you are not the only one that is job searching everyone is getting no's but also at some point you're also gonna get a job tenacity consistency i always say job searching is a job itself be strategic i've got a free cv template in the link on my description box use it like i said i've got questions that i wrote with my chest i stand by them that you need to use in your interview i'm selling that also in my description box these are resources i'll be coming up with more resources to help you guys free paid whatever it just depends on the time and effort i put into it um but subscribe i love my family it's growing and remember you are amazing don't let anyone tell you otherwise until next time